Hey guys, uh, I'm Alex, uh, I'm the CTO at Servius. Hey, how's it going? My name is Eugene Elkin, uh, I'm Senior Software Engineer at Rodeo. Uh, I guess today we'll be unboxing these, uh, these new controllers yeah. we got from Live, right? Yeah. Pretty excited, we've been waiting them for a while. Yep, yep. Uh, it's a huge the, improvement over the ones. Can do the honor? Yeah, well, you can see uh, it says right here, it's a new approach to natural interaction. That's pretty Ooh. nice. Yeah. It's right on your hands, so it definitely like, won't be flying out of your hands. Great way to uh, put it on. You just pull it, and uh, it stays tight. How does it feel in your thumb? Can you reach it really well? Yeah. Well, I think it's 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 a bit deeper than it was before, and smaller. This way, you can reach the edges much faster, and I think the concaveness actually helps you figure out where your thumb is relative to the center much easier. Oh yeah, that's a good point. What do you um, think about these buttons on the side? I think it's great that uh, the, the you know, SteamVR platform is gaining more buttons. I think with the Vive, you often felt like there was a bit, you know, a bit of shortness uh, on the input side. Uh, it's great, we, you know, we can map a few more actions. I like that this option button is kind of out of your way, so you're not going to be hitting it accidentally. You really have to consciously put your thumb down there to click this yeah. button. Um, I think another nice improvement is uh, you know, with, the, with the Vive, we had the puck at the front, so you know, people would hit objects much more often I think. Although this has I guess uh, yeah, on the side, you gotta be careful here. Yeah, this still has it on the side, but I think people are used to how big their hands are and they would forget that they would have this whole giant puck in the front and you know break their TVs. The nice thing is it does look pretty tight. Yeah. Like, I can imagine throwing a grenade or throwing a sword like we do right yep. and not having to worry about you know it flying out your hand. I guess you probably still want to be careful but it stays really tight if you tighten it. Which yep. The trigger, the trigger still has a like a nice uh, like a like a digital almost uh, click at the end. I think that's great for like weapons and stuff where it gives you that tactile response of you know I just had something fire. It yeah. feels, I mean, it feels smaller. I mean, all the same parts are there, like uh, like Alex said, the little hat that used to be on there is on the side, but it just feels much tighter. Yeah. Yeah, I'm excited to try the game. Yeah, so we're. Uh, we're really happy we, we got these like so early. Uh, really appreciate our partners at Valve, uh, you know, letting us have a glimpse at the future of VR. Awesome, well, yeah. Thanks for uh, watching this unboxing, guys, and hopefully we got plenty more with updates of uh, new controllers and different headsets.